that have not come to us, now you want to overly compensate right. for people who never lived here before, and they we need to be taken care of first and foremost before anything else happens here. Right. Yeah. Why would any leader put our black communities already riddled with crime at further risk by placing unvetted non-taxpayers steps away from our, our seniors, our children, and our homes we've worked so hard on our own to secure? We are at war, people. Our communities are at war. They are violating our communities, and we asking that we have we across the country, we asking and we demanding for office of Black America, or whatever you want to call it, to deal with issues like this. Uh, I did get placed on a wait list, but I was told that the immigrants were taking priority. See, that's a story that a lot of people don't know, and it just it hurt me. I'm like, oh wait a minute. I understand we need to be humanitarian, but these people are that my participant our third and fourth generation Chicagoan, born, bred, fed, and raised here. My grandmother, May Rutherford Carrington, rest in peace, always said, Craig, charity starts at home first, and then it go abroad. Politically, having over 500 people in our community would completely wipe out any interest we have. Many of these migrants have been dumped in our neighborhoods without a plan in place to monitor and house them long term. I'm not yeah. selling Preach. nothing. And yeah. I keep telling people, we don't have to move. If you out. sell, they're going to come in. Yeah. If we don't sell, we got to stand strong. And That's right. We just get started. If they move, we don't sell.